What's up, guys? Welcome back to the shop, or welcome to the shop. What do we got going on today? We got a series motor here. And we're going to show you how to test it. Everybody's always wanting to know how you test these motors. Well, we're going to show you. It's really simple, so stay tuned. All right, so we got the series motor. I've got it on my stand here. All I've done is just taken a rear end and mounted it to my workbench. But when you test your motor, you're going to want to have it on your cart because you've got to support that armature inside. It's only got one bearing up here. That's one support point. The other support point is the bearing on the input shaft. One thing to keep in mind before you do test your motor is to check for shorts, all right? Um, if it's shorted and it fried your controller and you put power up to it, you're going to get sparks and melt something. So you need to check for shorts first. So what I do is I do a continuity test with my meter and I check between the two armatures, make sure you have continuity. And then you want to ground it to the frame to a... Um, armature post to make sure the armature is not shorted and the same with the fields you want to um, test from between the field and the frame too make sure it's not shorted and then lastly i check between the armature and the field too to make sure there's no continuity between them either all right so we're going to test for shorts we got our meter set to continuity we got the the beeper turned on the first thing we're going to test is between the armatures we should get a beep we do. Then we're going to test between the fields. We got a beat, which is good. Now, we want to go from the armature to the chassis of the motor, and we shouldn't get a beep. That's good. And we want to do it from the field to the chassis of the motor, and that's good. No beep. That means it's not internally shorted. And then lastly, I do it between the field and the armature, and we should not get a beep either, which is good. So that lets us know that there's no internal shorts inside the motor. What we're going to do, we're going to hook it up. We're going to put positive voltage on the armature and negative voltage on one of the fields. And then we're going to connect the opposites to one another. All right, so like I said, we've got it hooked up here. we got positive going into the armature. It's going to go through the armature and out the other side. Then it's going to come down to S2. We're going to go through the fields and out the other side to negative. So anyways, let's turn the uh, power on to it. I've just got it hooked up. I've got a controller rigged up that I test with, but all you have to do is just put 12 volts, positive and negative, on yours. That's all it needs to run just for testing purposes. So let's turn the machine on, see if it runs. There we go, we got a good runner. That's all you gotta do, guys. This motor I've rebuilt, so I know everything's good inside of it. That's why I'm showing you how to test it. But let, uh, I'm gonna put up a few pictures of some common issues that um, go wrong with these motors. That way you know what to look out for uh, while you're testing. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Just consider subscribing for more content. If you have any questions about testing these motors, leave it in the comments below and I'll uh, get to you when I can.